going on everybody it's your boy titanic feet jack and i'm back at you again with another video i would like to welcome everyone back to the channel how y'all doing what is going on everybody tf gang staying up anyone new out there watching for the very first time i would like to welcome you to the channel as well if you like the content that you're watching go ahead and subscribe to the channel also turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. And I need everyone to smash that thumbs up button, smash that like button. It helps YouTube promote the video to other people on YouTube that are not part of the family. And I greatly appreciate it. And it helps the channel a great bit. Now today we're taking a look at a sneaker. It's one of my grills. I purchased it about two months ago. And I'm bringing the video to you guys. I have not un them yet, and I was about to, and I was like, whoa, I gotta make this video before I un -DS these. These, one of the OGs, and they came out like in 88, 89 time frame. Y'all see the box with the flight on top? Give y'all a couple seconds to guess what it is. I'll take this thumbnail picture. Yes, guys, I'm gonna give you a quick look at that box tag. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It says Air Jordan 4 Retro OG. Colorway white, fire red, black, tech gray, size 14 person a pair, and the retail price was 220 US dollars. Yes, guys, I had to get these. Add to the collection. See the inside of the box top is red. You have that number right here, but no lot stamp. You got your black trash bag paper. That's what comes with these. Let's get them out. Yeah, the OG white cement for the 2016 edition. As you can see, it comes with that hang tag. Let me know what y'all think of these. How many of you guys have these in your collection? Look at these. These are nice. The price was right. I had to have them. I had to add them to the collection. So I have the white cement floors. I also have the black cement floors. And I also have the fire red floors. So the only pair I am missing out of the collection is the military blues. Yep, you guessed it. So, just like every other sneaker head, I'm patiently waiting for Jordan Brand to go ahead and do a retro of those military blue fours with the Nike Air on the back, of course. So, here's a good look at the white Seaman fours. About to give you guys a closer look on the turntable. Yes, guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro Full OG White Cement 4. Gonna get right into it. This sneaker is made on an all white base. The leather is nice and is soft. It's some good leather. It's soft to the touch. You have your black hits for your waffles. You have that cement on the extenders. You have your white uh, netting system with the white background. 
and it looks pretty good to say this sneaker came out five years ago. It has not yellowed yet. Let me knock on wood. And you got your white leather going on here on your upper. Your midsole, you got that cement print going on your midsole right here. You got the white going around your air house and clear bubble. You got that tech gray inside. You also have that hit of black right here on the midsole. What's with these to the outsole? You got the Fire Red Nike branding right here. Fire Red hit right here. You got that tech gray at the heel and toe. And you got that black going on right there. On the tab on the back, yep, the cement print, and you have the Nike Air branding. The Nike Air branding, what everyone wants on the back of their Jordan 3s and their Jordan 4s, but I had a conversation the other day with a store manager, and he was like, every shoe should come out with the Nike Air on the back, and I shared with him, I was like, that wouldn't be a good idea. It's just my opinion because it will water down the Nike Air branding. So we got to save it for the upper echelon of the releases. So that's my take on it. But he wanted Nike Air branding on everything that comes out. Cause we were talking about that Jordan 3 of uh, that one that comes out this Saturday on the 10th. And go to the medial side, more of that white leather. You got your white netting system with the white background. You got that cement wing extender with the black waffle hits. You got more of that tech gray cement print on your midsole. White again around the uh, air housing, clear bubble, tech gray inside. Got that hit of black going on right here. Then look at your toe box. Let me go ahead and pull out the stuffing because this stuff really tight. Oh, I'm Uncle Willis stuff. Uh, right here. Cowboy shoe tree and tissue. Say size 13, 14. The John Jump Man on here. Go ahead and sit there aside. Give you a good look at that leather closer look. Nice soft tumble leather. Nice soft leather. It almost creases the very first time I put these on. They're probably going to crease. But that's good, though. That lets you know you got some good leather. You got more of that white netting going on. On your tongue goes up to here. White background. And you have the flight patch. Red Jordan Jump Man logo. Flight in black. And you got leather going on up here on the top of the tongue. You got that black behind with your tongue. You can see it from the front. But you remember, this is OG back 88, 89. This out of threes and fours came. You have your patch on the back, stitched on white air, Jordan and red. You have that tech gray cotton sock liner going on here. On the inside, you have the uh, black insert with the fire red. Nike Air branding. Oh yeah, I forgot. You got one set of laces. It comes with a uh, set of flat laces, white flat laces. But y'all know I'm gonna swap this out. Stay tuned. Also on the inside, you have your sizing sticker. And let's see, can I get you guys a good look at that sizing tag? Size and tag say size 14, production day September the 9th of 2015 to October 29th of 2015. So what they did, that's about a about a month and some change of production. Oh, more two months. Let me know what y'all think of this sneaker. 
and give you one hit. Yep. Check out the lace swap I did on these. These are the cement laces that I got from Slickest. Yes, I like to get my laces from Slickest. This is a perfect match with the cement print on your wing extenders and your on your midsole and on the tab on the back. Check it out, but this is the lace swap I did with these. This is how I'm coming. Let me know how y'all think of this lace swap and the sneakers. Drop that in the comment section. And I'm about to roll out. Like I always tell y'all, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack, signing out.